Hi everyone, Ben here. I'd just like to take a moment to thank some of our patrons. Emma Bogan, John, Victoria Weatherington, Jack Merriman, Alexandra Sype, Nadia Heller, Charlotte, Stephen Gilbert, Internaut, Maz Dixon. Thank you all. We really appreciate your support. If you'd like to join them, go to www.patreon.com forward slash Rusty Quill and take a look at our rewards. Episode 85 of the Rusty Quill Gaming Podcast. I'm your host and GM, Alex. You're with me today for another episode I have. Ben Meredith, Bryn Monroe, Lydia Nicholas, and who are you playing? Uh, Grizzle, Drake Act Amsterdam, Hamid Salah, Harun Al Tahan, uh, like Sasha, Sasha Racket. Yeah. And uh, how are you feeling about sand? Are we pro sand? We like sand? It's, 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 it's sand in all my crevices! <laughs> I didn't even know I had that orifice! <laughs> <laughs> so. The party may be in the middle of a sandstorm. We have no idea of exactly where they are, how they are, I why really they are. I really wish I could remember how the so- song Sandstorm by Darude went, because I would totally be humming it right now. Oh, and the chorus of... So, after that rousing rendition, <laughs> the party has has apparently been teleported at least away from the university, or there's a sandstorm in Einstein's office. Who knows? With that in mind, oh, so I'm gonna go for the full. With that in mind, I'm gonna pick up where we left off. Stay to get together. Kairos horrible. Just don't get separated. Hold on to each other. All right. Try and everyone give me a perception check. 18. 18 for Grizzle. 19. 19. 19. And 19. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, you all are able to see one another and grab one another. Uh, okay. I don't think we're in the centre. <laughs> Probably not. Um, I guess we just pick a direction. <coughs> Has anybody got a compass? Which no. way does wind blow? <laughs> no, just... <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Oh, right. That's all so did I, actually. All right. <coughs> oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> does wind blow from, like, the north or something? Can anyone that's see that's a star? That's not how wind works. Look for a building. Everyone give me a con check. <laughs> Shocker, the paladin does well at a con uh, save. Mate, I think you mean a fortune, fortune save. I do mean a fort save. I've been it's playing not fifth round recently. here. Uh, yeah, that was a 29 with an actual 20. 29? Uh, 11. 11? 8. 8. So, Grizz up. Yeah. You're basically fine. Great. Everyone else, you're starting to find it hard to breathe. You haven't got any prep, it, you haven't put anything across your mouth yet, and already you're clogging. And... So, so the, the way that I, uh, I'm going to skin that fortune thing is, I read a book once uh, where they wrapped a cloth around their uh, nose well, and mouth. Go. So I'll do that and go... <laughs> Wrap cloth around your face to help you breathe in. You both are not able to talk currently. It's just... Um, I start doing that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm going to try and drag the other two to the ground to sit. Mm-hmm. And if the three of us can just sit with our backs to the wind for a little while. Okay. Um, it, yeah, you're able to do so. There's a very clear direction to it. However, sand begins immediately piling, piling up, up against, against your backs. <laughs> From your perspective, though, Hamid... If this is Cairo, this is a fluke. This is a fluke sandstorm. Yes, you can get a sandstorm, maybe even in the middle. But if so, it is an absolute fluke, and your luck must be incredibly bad. We we need a plan. We're, we're probably not in Cairo. Like right, we're probably just nearby. Maybe. Um, we we should we need to set up some sort of barrier and try and wait out the storm. Do you recognise any landmarks? No! <laughs> Visibility is about half a foot. We might maximum. be standing really close to one. I mean, I guess we're in a desert. You All of this, of course. <laughs> we, we, you wouldn't get winds like this with the buildings nearby. We, we just got to get a barrier in place and wait it out. Well, I picked up a cloak. Yeah, unless you want to climb into a bag of holding. I don't think we can. I'm going to put a cloak up. Okay. It immediately it. starts getting heavy as the sand starts piling uh, up on it. This is awful. <laughs> I hate Cairo. <laughs> yeah, 
I've, I've still got a tent somewhere. We, we can't set up the whole thing, but if we just set it up as a, as oh, a right, windbreak. Do that then! You. you you're from here, right? Uh, so I'm going to drag my. Uh, dig into my adventuring kit, which is inside my bag of holding, uh-huh. uh, get out the, the tent, mm-hmm. um, and. I'll help. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm going to be terrible at this. <laughs> Uh, but we just set, basically you want to set up the tent, just stretch between two poles, dig the poles in, try and create a Begin at least with a, a survival check for Hamid and Grizzop, you can help if you want, unless you physically take the stuff away from him and do it properly. Oh no, I can't do it properly. I've got, I've got, I'm an urban paladin. My, <laughs> my survival skill is zero. Mine's minus one. Cool. Mine's so I got a four. You failed to help? Mine would be two. I rolled a four. Nice. Um, I guess I could try. Go for a help. Go oh, for a help. Is that. I'm saying two because I assume that'd be my wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got it right. But then surely the rest of you have higher. Minus one. No. no. You got, oh. You're the wisest Paladins party Paladins are charisma member. based. Ah. I have so high, a sorceress. I have, I have high intelligence and high charisma. Uh, I do not have no so I, I'm often right, but no one listens. Yeah. Yes, um, that's, that's, yes, that's mathematically correct. So I got three plus two. Five. <laughs> so we all rolled five or less. All of you immediately like, uh, uh, right, grab the, no, pass me the, uh, right, okay. Eventually all three what of you are holding one pole. You go, right, put it in the ground. You raise it up, you jam it down, and it immediately snaps in two. Clearly you try to drive it straight into... Rock and or you something live similar. Here. No, I live in a house like a normal the, person. The tent is starting to like get caught, sand inside ah, and outside. Just, just it's wrapping it around you. Can we like ride it? it? Do you actually like let a... go? Yes. Do both of you let go? No. No. Okay. Carry on. I cast flare. Okay. Right, it's a new spell I have. Describe and what it does flare. is it sends a flare. <laughs> you can target it at a person. <laughs> Which means it essentially dazzles them. Uh-huh. Or you can just send it into the sky, much in the manner of a, a flare. flare. <laughs> so you send the flare into the sky. Yes. After half a foot, it disappears from your vision. Uh, I'm then going to cast Dancing Lights. Okay. I can do both. And okay. they're just going to start swirling around us in the storm. Okay. Like, it, it's probably not visible, but we might get lucky. Occasionally, you all can't see them the second that they go more than about half a foot away. The only way that you can even talk is by going, like, forehead to forehead. It's it's a mess. And this sand is just painful. Any inch of you that is not covered is already, like, getting abrasions and stuff. This is really rubbish. It's <laughs> horrible. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason we don't go in the desert very often. Well, you're the one who lives around here. It's not what Cairo looks like. No, but, like, if I was in a forest... I know it doesn't look like Amsterdam, but it's still close by. It's the same biome. <laughs> <laughs> What's a biome? It's an environment. You know, the, the, the Amsterdam is arboreal and quite wet. It's flat pads. <laughs> I don't see how that's helping right now. <laughs> you should be helping right now. Are either of you me. saying anything useful down there? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't lived in Cairo for nearly ten years. You've got a memory. I was a kid! I lived in a nice fancy house with proper walls and I wore better bars whenever I wanted them! Bags played a lot! <laughs> yeah, that sounds lovely! So it was! <laughs> <laughs> At this point, the sand has reached to, like, shoulder height. There is one, like, from you backing against it, there is one benefit, which is it doesn't seem to be settling around you, but that's mostly because the wind is so strong, it is, it's like being sandblasted. It's just, the only place it's piling up is where you are all sat, and there it's piling up incredibly quickly. So my breastplate's being polished. Yes! <laughs> Well, it'll look dull at first, but if you would then polish it afterwards, it nice. would look a lovely. Abrasion. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Do we have a plan? No. <laughs> no, got no plan. Dying a sandstorm? <laughs> I guess so. Everyone give me a fort save. Do I? Yes. Got critical success. Yeah. Is it worth ha. nothing? 24. 21. Oh, 28. Uh, yeah. Carry on and we'll deal with the next fort save when it comes. <laughs> I mean, on my options, basically to stab the sandstorm... Or maybe throw a, a like thunderstone into it. Don't throw it into the wind. That's my advice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you do anything, we're gonna die. There's nothing I can do. I can't magic away the sand. Why not? Yeah, that <laughs> sounds like something magic people could do. Let's just start walking. Let's walk away from the wind. I think that's our only option, mate. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> All right, we'll go until we 
I don't know much about. Just keep Our going. arms linked. Okay, so you begin walking in the direction of the wind. No. Or against the wind. So the, the wind is at our back. It yes. Wind. Yeah, you're walking in the same wind, direction wind, as yeah. the wind. Yeah. Wait, hold up! I'll tie us together with some ropes. That's a good Crowds. idea! <laughs> so you start walking. It's basically a shuffle because yeah. you're you're almost leaning, having to lean what would feel like 45 degrees yeah, so we backwards. Just, no, we just jump up and it takes us a bit. Woof! Unless I can dodge the sand... None of my skills are valuable here. Yet likewise, it doesn't need healing. This is your or conversation shooting. as you shuffle forwards, trying not to lose your footing. Occasionally you do. Bearing in mind that both Hamid and I weigh under 40 pounds. Yes, yes. I'm getting that. Okay. Um, although, to, to be fair, to be fair, my breastplate probably... Yeah, my, my breastplate is two-thirds of my body weight. <laughs> additionally. <laughs> So, yeah, as it stands, currently you are all struggling, but you are basically managing to so keep your right, footing green, right up tiny. until Sasha, oh, give me a reflex save. Reflex? Sasha, give oh, me a reflex save. I get to yeah. dodge the sand. Hooray. Ah, yes. Okay. 21. 21? Yeah. There is a brief moment where both Hamid and Grizzop are bodily lifted off the ground and start dragging you forward, and you manage to sort of grab hold of them and push them back down no as flying. the dust finishes. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> ah, actually, maybe we could fly. I'm not a kite! <laughs> well, Everyone give not? me a perception check. <sighs> Ooh. I only rolled two. 21. So that's only 14. I rolled a two as well. I got 13. <coughs> 21, a 13, and... 14. A 14. So, yeah, you keep going... Keep going. It's starting to lose your footing. Very tired. Grizzop. Yes. You find yourself in front of a camel. I, I found a camel! <laughs> <laughs> and by in front of, I mean it's within half a foot of your head. Okay. I'll duck under it and get on the other side of it so that it's sheltering me from the wind and sand. <laughs> yeah, okay. That works. It's adapted to this environment. <laughs> We're not... With that in mind... I mean, I found a windbreak! You are now all hid behind a camel. Yeah. Continue. Hello, camel! Thank you. Do they talk? What? Not normally, no! Everyone give me a perception check. 28. Uh, 30. 13. Either the camel has extra legs, or there is someone upon this camel... I should point out that was 30, not 13. There's definitely... Someone pawn this camel. <laughs> I mean, they are extremely pawned. With a 30 to 28, I'm pretty sure yeah. we, we can see the person on the camel. Uh, that's a lot of sand, mate. Oh, oh wait! His ability is half a foot. <laughs> Ex- Hello? Excuse me? Is this Cairo? Yes, who who are you are you in need are you in need of, of help? Uh, yes, we're in a sand. Very storm. much so. Is oh. that not obvious? Well, um, hold on. Uh, okay. I hold on to the camel. Yeah, literally <laughs> holding on. I hold on to your foot that's dangling <laughs> from the camel. Do, do you occasionally lose your footing? So it's like <laughs> yeah. straight away. Pretty much. Just stay, stay. With, I will just, I will guide you towards, towards the hospital. That's where I'm heading. Where, where are you? Where, who are? Wait. We're, we're just anywhere to wait out the sandstorm. Yeah, we'll I'm fine. We were just having a lovely stroll to take in the local sights. The camel oh. begins walking at a right angle to the direction that you were walking. Cool, I'm behind a camel, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Are you... We, we were teleported here. No, but... By accident. Yes. Yeah. Terrible accident. Yeah, we've got no idea. Magical accident. We were trying Ooh. to Cairo. I assume we're not very nearby. No, no, this this, this is Cairo. You find yourself... Wait, what? You find yourself reaching some steps. You nearly stumble upon them. Oh, we're in desert. Yeah. This is... No, the, this is... the main, This is Main Street. This is... What? You find yourselves at a very large pair of wooden doors which are closed shut against the storm. Is this normal? No, there have been... This has been terrible, terrible for, for, for days and days. Something terrible has happened to the weather. Right. Oh! oh that's Why, that's not unfamiliar at all. <laughs> yeah. Balls. Oh, storms dear. in Alexandria, sandstorms here. Nothing is working. I, we're, we're, it's, it's terrible, but you let's are all inside. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yes, uh, thank you, by the thank way. Thank you. Ow. We will skip ahead to. The door opens. You head inside, Pon Camel. 
Uh, the rest of the party stumble inside. The door is closed. How high are these doors? They're massive. Okay. They're really, really big. Okay. <laughs> you find yourself in a lovely, clean corridor. At which point, I feel I should probably address the Helen in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Helen. This is me addressing you. Hello. Good human interaction there, Alex. <laughs> I'm so good at talking. <laughs> you may remember Helen from other such Rusty Cool episodes as Shouting! Beowulf! <laughs> Shouting, the three-part oh, yeah. special. <laughs> so you may not actually remember me. There was a whole thing. Hey. <laughs> fair, very fair. Yeah, well yeah. played, well yeah, played. So I would like to introduce to everyone... Yeah. Our new fourth. <gasps> Thank you for joining us, Helen. Yay! Oh my god! <laughs> How long have you been sitting there? Yeah. At least an episode. Hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With this in mind, I will not be introducing your character for the simple reason that you can do so in character, and then we can we can get a bit more details. The as well. magic Wait, does that of mean role play. That Helen's character looks at us and then describes what they're wearing. I was going to do physical like. description, but then that was it. That was it. That was all I was going to do. Uh, be really careful, because he got stuck in Annoying Doctor for like oh, yeah, five different episodes. He's going to get stuck in Einstein. He's going to get stuck in Einstein. It'll happen, and I won't be able to get out of no. it. It'll be awful. Could be you get to critical. <laughs> <laughs> so, bringing this train wreck back on the <laughs> Helen, please describe your character for Ben's benefit specifically, because he couldn't possibly wait. <laughs> okay. I am playing... A six foot six orc who towers oh over you. Yes. <laughs> so, I mean, how specifically much do you tower over the fight? I mean, at least double your size. Yeah, specifically about double for both of us. I, Could, well, it's double our average because I'm three yeah, foot two and you're three, three foot, foot four. four. <laughs> I am perfectly sized to carry both of you in each hand. So we're basically like up to your mid thigh. Yes. Ish. Yeah. Now, um, Azu looks down on you. It's, Kindly, kindly eyes, shaven head, enormous, built like a abs- like just a shed, <laughs> a, sh- a shed in orc form, <laughs> an orcish shed. Let me tell you, orcish sheds are sturdy. Yeah, they know how to build them. <laughs> this will be a main point. This of my shed character. must last generations. <laughs> the marble, sh- the sh- a marble shed, <laughs> where they're inlaid with granite. <laughs> And a floor made of obsidian. No, no, more. More balustrades. <laughs> <laughs> she is wearing armour. Ooh. And gigantic axe. Just <laughs> okay. Also gigantic. a morning star. All right. Also two other smaller axes. <laughs> Just okay. in case you uh, come across team. a smaller tree. <laughs> <laughs> more precision chopping. All of these things are glowing pink. Wait, what? Whoa, wait, what? You heard. Like mechanically you glowing. Heard. Oh, yes. Absolutely. They, they have mechanical effects. Right. This, this, this is like the Fulcan armour. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I want you all to know, at no point did I give her a design brief and say, you have to hit these points. This was arrived <laughs> all on her own. I'm so proud. Um, do you have any iconography or symbology? Uh, I do you? not, but you, as a priest of Artemis, will know... The colour of Aphrodite is pink. Ah. They tend not to go in for symbol so much as just just a really, colour. really clear colour scheme. <laughs> yes. Ow. And also all the personalities. They're all very friendly. Okay. Ah. okay. Excess- ex- excessively problematically so. Mm. Yes. Right. Uh, well, thank you very much. Um, uh, you, yeah, oh, okay. I, I guess we'll go our separate way then. No, what? But We can't go back out there. What? No, you must stay. We must. Thank you. But wh- where are we? Well, Cairo. I told you this is this is Cairo. This yeah, is the main. This strip. building specifically, the, the hospital. hospital of Aphrodite. Oh, oh right. That's, do, looking, you not, do you not know from the from the look, armor? Looking around, <laughs> it's all pink. Uh, it's extremely clean. There's little bits of sand that you sort of brought in with you, but you're in a long ish corridor that ends in what's clearly a foyer of some kind that's just about. 10 foot, 15 foot distance. Um, marble flooring, marble walling, and to shake things up, a bit of a marble effect on the ceiling. Um, and yeah, it's that sort of rosy colour. Presumably. And there are people in the foyer all just staring at you. Presumably I've been here before. Yes, you have. Uh, there was an incident where you broke your leg as a child. They fixed it really, really quickly and easily. They're lovely. Cool. They're just lovely, just lovely. 
Right. Thank I, you. I, thank you for helping us. Um, my name's Hamid. This is Grizzop uh, and, and Sasha. Right. Oh, of course. I. My apologies. The. The, the dust and all of the, course and, yes. and coming across strangers. Azu is still upon a camel. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing tall, in some context how there. How high then? How high is the camel? Like pretty, eleven foot. Pretty, Azu is yeah. like yeah. I'm like we're, we're, we're yeah. shouting slightly upwards. <laughs> We're just dripping sand. Just you know, everywhere. I, I don't know floor. what you're talking about. I look immaculate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Um, Azu dismounts and offers her hand to uh, Azu. Hey, um, Grizzle, uh, Paladin of Artemis. Yes, you said, but Did my I? name, my name, my name is Azu. Good to uh, meet you. It is wonderful to meet you. Now, are you injured? Uh, no. No, not at all. What about you? Are you are you injured? Uh, no, just just a few scrapes, but seem to be fine. How about you, slightly taller person? <laughs> well, I mean, not straightforwardly. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I like the sound of that. Give me a challenging Azu, injury. Azu, give me a perception check. <laughs> oh, wait, which one am I looking at? Uh, down there on the side, there's perception. Okay, six. Thirteen. Thirteen? Uh, yeah, she's got some kind of wasting illness. People tend to be quite sensitive about that kind oh. of thing. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry for your condition. Well, I mean, it's not like I'm... I mean, there's upsides. Like, I'm, really? I'm, I'm very fast. We, we, we can oh. get into the details later. It's very uh, okay. cheap to get Hi, here. Hi, we're, we're the London and other London Outstanding Mercenary Group. The who? Should you really be telling everyone? The, the that? London and other London Outstanding Mercenary Group. I, I I I grew up in the mountains. I do not know. I, I I've only been here for five days myself. Well, uh, to be fair, we've only been called that for about a week. A, yeah, a, like a week. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you are you are a you are an adventuring troop, basically. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, uh, Paladin of Artemis first and foremost, then mm. Bounty Hunter. Artemis, you say? Yes. Yes, I no, yes. Mm. Um, what? An, an equally worthy face. Uh, thanks. There is a call from the foyer going, I'm fairly certain that what they're after is some kind of succor rather than <laughs> merely standing in the corridor, Azu. Oh, oh, of course, of course. What, um, what succor? It, it, it means Food and drink and other forms of... Nice stuff. Oh, stuff. right, I like yes. them. Yeah. Hospitality, friendliness. Oh, We're I, still uh, talking, Azu. I don't like that. Come, come, come and meet. It's fine, we were just introducing ourselves. Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, I almost forgot the most important person that you could meet. This is Topaz T. Camel. Uh, My trustworthy steed. Oh, the camel. Oh. Hi, Topaz. Oh. Uh, thank you for helping us. What, what to, does the to be tea clear, stand sorry, for? The, the character that was speaking was not the camel. Oh, I feel it really oh, important to actually yeah. spell that one out for this. <laughs> that. that was coming from the That's foyer. Really <laughs> not the camel. Snooty camel. <laughs> <laughs> this camel might be snooty as well. We don't know. <laughs> Um, all right, camel. It's like a kind of... It's a weird horse. So, topaz. Much better than a horse. What, what does the T stand for? The. T- topaz the camel. Topaz ah. the camel. <laughs> right. Oh. I, well, that, I, I confess, I'm not the most... <laughs> right. I'm not the most inventive. I, it, That's a nice I, it's it's still talking, Azu. Still talking. <laughs> we like yeah. talking. Sorry, hello. <laughs> You can't see this person there, like, in the foyer. Oh, <laughs> why do that to empty air? Is, is, yeah. is, is this another disembodied voice? Like, no, 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 no. Um, we've got come some, with me. We've got bad history with voices coming out of walls. <laughs> Azu scoops up the two... The, the half... Why well, I got a moment! <laughs> Personal Put space! Down. Personal space! Put me down! Stranger danger! Uh, Put me down! <laughs> I am completely accepting and Put I quite down. like it. <laughs> Put me down! No, 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 no. We must I'm we... going to take a break there. <laughs> I don't think he likes it. And welcome back. We'll pick up exactly where we left off. Me down! Me down! <laughs> I'm a human. No, 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 no. no. Don't, do not worry. I, can, I will I can not walk. harm you. I'm I can walk! I'm a paladin! I can heal myself! Soon. Put me down! He's quite fast. Quiet. He's <laughs> I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to try and scrabble out of the shot. Wait, so, are we doing a combat manoeuvre check? Yes! Yes! Uh, oh, no. Can you, Lydia? Yeah. No, grapple. escape artist. It's, escape artist. Yeah, Simple grapple. skill check. You Opposed, can choose. You can not choose. engage the complex rules. Opposed grapple check for Tom Oh, he's going to make an escape artist. Escape artist check. Or acrobatics. Oh, okay. Can, can I make a check to hold Yes, yes, you can. Can you give me a combat manoeuvre? Maneuver check. So roll the d20. And Bryn's pointing out the one you add to it. That is um, 22. 
22. Uh, I'm able to use my acrobatics? Yes. Uh, then that Oh, is... no, sorry. It's escape artist or combat maneuver only. Okay, well, they're both three, so nine. Nine. No. <laughs> no. I, just, I just end up upside down. <laughs> Put me down! <laughs> Put me down and I'll shoot your knees off! Put me down! As it is, is you pulling you into my knees. <laughs> I've got a bow and arrow. I'll reach, I'll reach your Azu, knees if I want to. Azu, this is a place of worship. Quiet worship. Calm. <laughs> I'm not quiet I'm worship and healing. Put me down. <laughs> healing us. Will you put me down? You, you ordered me to bring them to you. Just please I am, respect I my personal space. I it... am also a paladin. This is disrespectful. Put me down. Put the minute person down. D- don't. Well. Just because I'm... Sh- <laughs> Very well. She deposits Grizzup, does not let go of um, Hamid. Hamid. Who is what, curled up and just asleep? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just cradled in the crook fine. of your arm. <laughs> I, I'm fine with being carried if, around. If it's nice, just roll with it. <laughs> she is ushering Sasha along what? with a hand on your back. Thank you. Don't touch me. Oh, um, of course. Heading into the foyer. That's a bit, she respects my personality. <laughs> <laughs> yours. Well, if you're, if you're short. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the foyer is, again, large and grandiose. It has lots of um, cornicing and so on. The way that Artemis was very sort of functional, defensible and robust and the Poseidon lot were kind of austere. And, uh, and, this, and really wet. Really <laughs> wet. Really, really Just wet. Generally cold and horrible. Yeah, full of water. Mm. And really the Apollo wet. lot were all radiant. And, uh, Damp. Moist. It was, it was moist. Mostly what this place has is contours. And by that, I mean, if a building could have frills, It's a it lot would. of things that we probably couldn't say on the podcast. It's curvy. It is a curvy building on the inside. Right. It's undulating. <laughs> With lots of... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that. That's a perfectly normal <laughs> word. That is the kind of thing Ooh. that an, well, like, that an automated, <laughs> an automated like checker of proprietiness would never catch but every human <laughs> Und- undulating is a perfectly normal word any yeah. any it, it implications are entirely said, with you it was it yeah, was how you said it what, where I'm, your hands were while I'm, you were saying yeah. I normally talk like this what are you talking about <laughs> yeah. I need to get the shopping <laughs> chill bars back yeah. oh no it is. Oh, Matt Berry get out of my head so the foyer itself is extremely large like i said it has a lot of um curves and so on to it it has a huge mural on the wall exactly opposite you there's a desk before that mural and then the corridor splits into two one going left one goes right the mural itself is a huge depiction of it's a very famous piece of art that you'll probably be aware of anyway a certain goddess within a certain clam Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of straightforward, really. Is the goddess human shaped in it, and is the clam clam shaped? Clam shaped <laughs> as we would recognise, or is it like a big dragon egg clam? No, no. It's just a big old clam. Okay. It and is exactly as the actual piece of art. But do you know what? It's definitely not called oh. Venus rising from the waves because that's bad. 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 So bad. bad. Very bad. So wait, wait. Stolen. So, is that, so did Aphrodite take on human shaped form? That's quite prejudiced. They're all human so far. All the gods. Hmm. Yes. You noticed it, didn't you? Yeah, moving on. (laughs) Um, In the foyer itself, there are seating against the walls and so on, and there are a lot of people upon them. Is Hephaestus a dwarf? No, he Mm. has a hunchback. I think in this world he might be Oh, in the fantasy world. (laughs) Around the walls are people sat. Most of them appear to need care, and most of them appear to be taking shelter from the storm. They're also covered in sand. Behind the desk is a... Very, very tall, very, very slender figure, uh, an elf, very clearly an elf, which, again, is pretty rare, actually. Yeah. And um, they are looking very austere. They're very put together, again, in in robes of pink. And um, they are sort of keeping an eye on the rest of the foyer. Occasionally, you'll see another priestess or priest sort of wandering around and administering people. And it's that person that was speaking earlier. Well, look, for one, I'm not a minute person, all right? Name's Grizzop, Paladin of Artemis. So you stop it. I have brought you these these wanderers. I saved them from the storm. Yes, yes, I can I can see that, Azu. Um, why don't you go ahead and administer to them, and then we can uh, all return to quiet contemplation I and healing. I don't need any ministrations. Quiet. Or I'm being quiet. Contemplation. No, what would you these people are fine. Quiet uh, contemplation. The third, the third is. Uh, Complicated. Would you like something I mean, to calm you? Get, no, will you stop it? If you try and kiss me, I swear. Mm. <sighs> Perhaps you'd like to lie down. What, what, no, I'm perfectly fine. Thank you for your hospitality. Some food and drink would not go amiss. Hamid, you ate of like course. 15 minutes ago. That was at least half an hour. <laughs> I 
think my point still stands. <laughs> I am going. Feels like a week ago. I <laughs> am going to cut to. You went down one of the corridors and further into the temple, and you have found yourself in a similarly quite heavily occupied, for lack of a better word, canteen. But this is a canteen. It's tasteful. Mm. It's well done. There are chandeliers. It's a very, very gorgeous canteen as far as canteens go. Very much more to your tastes, Hamid, it's, than it's, there. It's a more soggy previously. admiral than it is soggy cabin boy. Very much so. <laughs> very much soggy admiral, yes. Yeah. And um, it's, again, full of people sheltering. These people have clearly been cleaned up a bit and have had a chance to get out of the storm. Without the chance to clean up, Sasha's just going like, to stand in a corner and shake like, like <laughs> so that all the sand falls out, like, like a Pomerian dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would you like? Would you like a hand? I could, I could shake that off for you. If, please, if please you... no, don't. Touch okay. Me. Well, I'm, well, yeah, I'm standing behind. Her. I'm unbuckling my breastplate, and as I do, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> There's piles that on the floor. Another third of your yeah. weight. Yeah. <laughs> that feels better. <laughs> you, you can see all of the uh, members of uh, the Aphrodite uh, religion, sort of looking, seeing all the sand, going. Mm. And then going back to what they're doing, you, you, you find yourself seated more or less in the middle of the canteen with, with food brought for you. It's uh, simple but very, like, good fare. It's a solid warming stew of some kind. As it has so, a gigantic bowl. Just massive. Like, <laughs> she's not even hungry, but this is... Um, she wants to share companionship. So you are, you are adventurers. Yes. Tell me of your quests. Yeah, well, okay. First, How many so people have you helped to save? Well, not quite. It doesn't work like that. Well, we've saved the world twice, so yeah. everyone. The whole world? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <gasps> it's not as glamorous as it sounds. Well, we only saved Prague. Well, well we do fact, not do this for glamour. pretty horrible. Yeah. Oh, and I guess we did save that person from the basement of Q. I, he was, I we've saved quite a lot of people. Uh, anyway, the reason we're in Cairo a lot too. is um, for my, my sister's funeral. Oh, my new friend. I do apologise. Forward. <laughs> my new immediate best friend. <laughs> Thank you. Um, As he reaches out and grapples you into a hug. <laughs> Hamid hugs back <laughs> for all he's worth. Which is quite a lot. He's really good at hugs. And quite valuable as a uh, Could you give me a perform hug check, please? <laughs> uh, roll me a d20 and just, just, just add your basic perform modifier. Uh, I'm going to do the same. Just, just getting Helen into the Pathfinder yeah. system now. Seventeen. Yeah. Seventeen plus. What's your perform? It's charisma based. So. Uh, oh, um, that is twenty. 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 My, on. Mine was only thirteen. Yeah. It's Sub-par a hug. good hug. Yeah, yeah. Like, in fact, it's almost the maximum that a. <laughs> I think it might be an optimum hug. I think it might be the yeah. maximum that this, a standard human could hug. This makes Sasha so uncomfortable that she is holding a dagger. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I'm just sitting just there with quietly. my my head in my, uh, like my head in my hands, my elbow on the table, just like, yep, this is how this goes. <laughs> are they? Thank, thank you. Are they Do you feel like better this? now? A little. Then I have done my duty. So, so how long has Cairo been like this? What's going on? I, I, I have only been here for five days, but we heard rumours of the all the technology. It just. It stopped. The, the the banks are not working. The 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 food. The no one can pay. There have been riots. There have been so you couldn't such pay terrible sandwich. suffering. Yeah. Do you want to tell us again how much good we've done? Yeah. I'm pretty certain Grizzop's in the clear right now. Yeah. <laughs> but I, it's that, I that would have cause the sandstorms. Well, I, I don't know how much they were paying off the sandstorms. But talk about <laughs> talk about focusing on the wrong thing. Yeah. No, nobody knows what what has taken place. It's nope. The the, the tears of the orphans and the what a mystery. The terrible injuries yeah. from the riots the, and the fire. At least the orphans aren't having their brains harvested to take over the world. Anyway, what a strange thing what? to say. Everyone in the room goes quiet and just stares. Look, it's been a really stressful sorry. few days. Yes, yeah, sorry, my friend is having a bit of a breakdown. He's uh, prone to his stories. Uh, come on, have it. No, look, there aren't any brains going on. Look, that's weird, weird, very strange. Yeah, grief does strange things to people. It yeah. does indeed. I learned that in seminary. <laughs> <laughs> so you you've come down to deal with the riots and stuff and the crying orphans. Well, there can't I be many come... riots out in that. Well, it's not always sandstorms, but when when there aren't sandstorms, there are riots, and when there aren't sandstorms or riots, there's some sort of starvation, and when there aren't any of those things, there's orphans. other diseases. Yeah. So you just generally turned up to help, right? 
Of course, oh. I am on. I am on a quest. What, what's your quest? I shall be the high priestess of Aphrodite. Right. right. That's that sounds like more of a career. I mean, I'm goal. actually I'm just the junior underpants. Well, it is so. both. I must achieve the quest to reach oh, right. the ambition. Okay. I must. Right. I must help more people. Everyone, than give the me other a perception candidates. check. Natural Ooh. 20. Natural 20. Ooh. Uh, Natural 1. <laughs> nice. Yes, Hammond's in a bad place. Are you kidding me? Hammond's still reeling from that hug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got 18. So, Sasha and Grizzop, you both notice as Azu keeps going on about this and completing her quest, none and are, the rest are sort of rolling their eyes a little bit, like, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Azu, you also notice this. Mm. But again, no one's saying anything. No, Everyone's carrying on. It's just that sort of hesitate. <sighs> Going back to their work. Go back to their work. Azu ignores any hints. She's stronger oh. than that. Well, so looking around, seeing this reaction, just l- like Azu a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so you see, I must, I must save as many people as possible. I must heal and I must defeat any evil villains that I come across. Right. We've actually got a bit of an opening for someone that is magically compelled to do good in the world. (laughs) You do? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, I mean... How do I apply? Oh, well, there's a lot of forms. There's many, many forms. Yeah, basically, I mean... There's an entry fee. Well, I mean, we like you already, so I guess... Quite a high entry fee. My application... There wasn't any entry fee for me. Okay. As it drops to one knee and places her hand on her heart. Okay, says, this is a bit early. Everyone in the text else. Now. Okay. Mm-hmm. My dearest and newest friends. Right. <laughs> I, I wish to join you on your quest to save the um, world once again. Um, I'm not Will you, you accept my whoa. fealty? Oh, well, it's not really fealty. I mean, it's yeah, a contractual it's thing. We're yeah. a mercenary um, company. Yeah, we then paid. where do I sign? We'd love to have you on board. Probably just probationary until we're all certain about each other. But uh, I really like you, so I can only see it working out wait, well. I didn't, I didn't have a probation. Well, you helped us out with those zombies. Yeah. Uh, okay, you were just yeah, really yeah. impressive, that basically. Was, well, that was a very quick... Ooh, <laughs> tackle <laughs> Well, I mean, this, it was I mean a she very saved quick... us from the sandstorm. Yeah, that did pretty brilliant and it's she weird. has that right. weird horse and the glowing pink <laughs> armour that's a camel oh mm. yes my, my camel is part of the part of the deal we're, I, mean, we're, I think, we're I think you fit in fit in pretty well yeah I so mean, welcome aboard wait, I guess wait, wait, there's a call wait, coming in from very... the corridor um, oh. again it's from the, that elf uh, if you speaking of which if you could dismiss the camel we'd really appreciate it wait, Azu has that elf been listening to everything well he is he, he is wise he's must have ears and eyes. Why? Is that, that's just nosy. N- well, you cannot you cannot speak that way of priest Fairhands. Oi, oi, priest Fairhands. Another, uh, another oh perception check. Me too. Uh, yeah. 16. 25. 18 again. 23. Oh, the rest of the uh, priests and priestesses aren't fans of you uh, talking about Fairhands that way. Oof. Oof. Quite the faux pas. He is the best healer in the entire entire world. Yeah, uh, does it stop me from whole, being nosy? Wait, in the whole in the whole world? The entire... Well, as, as a priestess of Aphrodite, one must swear to heal as, like, I mean, all that, of the that wounded sounds, That sounds like disease. a bulk deal to, rather to, than a skill one. To be fair, if anyone can sort out your thing, it's them. Hey! But remember, no, because... What? what? She's thing? Got, you know, the thing. Uh, wait, it's probably what, not the, the time or the place to talk about it. The speedy thing. What? That speed is not an illness. That is not in my. Well, no, but we're talking about it's got benefits. The benefits, I, but you just, know, the, the, well, the it's not the time. Could we just not talk we'll just, about this here? Yeah, we'll discuss it later, maybe. Oh, um, uh, how long do these sands have these sandstorms been lasting? I mean, we only want to go th- three st- streets away or something, probably. But it seems that- like a bad idea to go out in that. Even within like the last five days, uh, there has been one prior to this one. Mm-hmm. That one lasted about a day best part of a day not much more than that mm. I mean assuming it's going to be the same for you know it could be weeks <laughs> <laughs> no longer than a day has this happened <laughs> anywhere else I don't know I came well I, the, the, I journeyed a lot we're talking about there being a lot of storms in the various ports and that, that happened before well exactly so you can't exactly. blame you can't blame the weather us. on us well, I, yeah but if, I was not trying to and if that's <laughs> Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Good. I, I Nor wish, was I. How what, would the bank it? What? 
yeah. what, what have you what have you to do with the weather the weather is nothing at all absolutely wait nothing. hang on a minute Almost do you have something certainly. to do with the weather probably no no <laughs> Well, well, you said that really implied that you had something to do with the weather. I don't think so. We're just very Can worried. You still, it's still sounding. Look like everyone someone... in the canteen has just given up the pretense of not just all staring and listening. <laughs> Two <laughs> very complicated things have happened to us today, okay? and it's just a bit overwhelming. I'm gonna stand on the and table. It, so. it feels it feels risky to make any sweeping statements. <laughs> so I'm gonna stand on the table and just with look at them all. Definitive answers on any question of what we may or may not have impacted. All right, look, I'm very tired. I'm um, gonna stand on the table and look at. Everyone else go, do you mind? We are having a private conversation. <laughs> Everyone starts to look away again. Yeah, I thought so. I think maybe we should put Hamid to bed. Yes. <laughs> do you have some beds? Can yeah. you carry him in and then tuck him into bed? We've I think got you probably the money. like that. It's fine. You do not pay for anything here, for we are now not only friends, but adventure Colleagues. <laughs> yes, adventure colleagues is the yeah. correct term. <laughs> West buddies. West buddies also <laughs> <fine>. <laughs> Colleagues. Geese yeah. friends. <laughs> Co- comrades in arms. Comrades in arms. Yes, that Con- was the phrase. Contractually joined acquaintances. Actually, <laughs> also. <laughs> <laughs> More that, accurate. That is exactly how Sasha would describe it. That's yeah, fair. That sounds, like, that sounds like a marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Satire. Wait, hang on a minute. I wasn't. Are we? Is this? This isn't. We're not are you? married. No. Okay, no, I hope no, not. Cut to. I'm not ready, okay? <laughs> After eating, you were led upstairs and. Despite everything that's going on, there are still beds available. Admittedly, you are right up to the sort of top floor of the building etc and um all of the windows are both closed and shuttered and so on and the storm is raging outside but there are some beds in an obscure corner of the hospital that you are uh, led to it is closer to a dormitory than anything else really clearly most of the um healing that's happening is is magical rather than mundane that said obviously there's um, cabinets of medicines and poultices and the various accoutrements you'd expect and um, <clears throat> yeah you are shown into the dormitory and that's where we will pick up as a bunch of time has been passed otherwise it will just be that conversation for mm. hours well, well excitingly <laughs> we've all leveled up yes oh yeah you have we did it off screen but now that we've had a proper rest we get to click the little button in our character portraits click and you. apply new points mm. <laughs> With that in mind, and having this this brief breather, I think it's probably worth addressing, uh, you know, what have you done with your levelling, if there's anything you want to share, and do you have any fancy new swag? Level six isn't an interesting level. Yeah. <laughs> um, disagree. Yeah. Like, for, for paladins, it's just kind of... I'm a save Scott higher. So I, I got a new spell, guys. Guess what Ooh. spell I can now cast, if I want to? Uh, Fireball! Oh my god, I'm so excited! That's going to be useful in a hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Cauterizing wounds, just lots of them at once. I nearly, I nearly, <laughs> Everyone line up. Wounds facing first. I nearly cast it at the sandstorm, yeah. just just to show I could. <laughs> I mean, it's already a sandstorm. How much worse could a glass storm be? Um, <laughs> brain, brain. Probably a fire storm a would have happened. <laughs> that, like just one of those Ooh, yeah. tornado Ooh. fires. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I mean, all that's different about me is uh, I can climb better. <laughs> I feel like that's pretty that's succinct description, yeah. Yeah, that. Um, <laughs> a few extra, like, more skill points than a human could count. Yeah. yeah. But, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Well, and that, that was the simplest explanation of I mean, we've, we've got, had I've yet. got some fancy new swag, but I was going to oh, describe yeah. it when I actually put it on, oh, because course, I'm yeah. still carrying it in my bag for now. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you all showing up to the dormitory. Uh, Azu, I, I leave it up to you whether you'd stay in your own apartments or keep them company. It's very much up to oh, you. No, of course not. No, she, she, um. <laughs> New travel buddies! <laughs> Yay! She pushes two beds together. <laughs> Wait, one for the camel or. <laughs> No, the, cap- the camel camel's has to back stay on the downstairs. celestial. No, the camel's back on the celestial plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, well, she, genuinely... she always does what Erin Fairhands tells her to. So does uh, it hop in and out of existence? That... Yeah, I can summon. I can summon a camel. It's a celestial camel. That's so cool. It's basically an angel right? in camel form. It's, a, wow. it's an angel camel. She has an angel camel. Wow. <laughs> Grizzop's bow glows. She has an angel camel. <laughs> Yep. Hey, it's a good bow. <laughs> <laughs> so much better than you. What else is with me? <laughs> so, so as you're all taller. settling down to sleep, <laughs> Hamid, 
you hear a voice in your head. That sounds ominous. <laughs> or does it? We don't know. How does it sound? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> no, not that. Da, 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 da. Make them laugh. No. <laughs> Have you been missold? PPI. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid, no, no, not that This either. episode is in part supported by the <laughs> Alfred P. Sloan. No. <laughs> mattresses. It is accompanied <laughs> by your hand feeling quite hot. One of your rings. Oh. oh. Hey, that's, that's a deep cut. Oh. How are things? Um, <laughs> fine. <laughs> I think it's I think it's time we had a chat about your family. Oh. <laughs> And I'll close the episode <laughs> there. <laughs> no context. No, no, none of that needed. Well, welcome, Helen. Uh, thank you for saving the party from dying about 15 feet from a hospital. <laughs> that, I, I was tempted to let that play out. It would have amused me, but yes. uh, no. So, again, welcome. Uh, and welcome with your gear buddies, your adventure pals, your quest friends, whatever the phrase is. Contractually, and contractually obliged. <laughs> colleagues. <laughs> must spend time with each other for work only. Yeah. yeah. Now, she is going to win all of you over. That is her, that is a secondary she's, goal. She's already won, Hamid. We're getting a very Steven Universe vibe. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, his power is hearts. So. That, that's, that's, yeah, that's true. Well, I think we will close there and we can continue this heart based quest next week. Bye, guys. Bye! Bye. Hey, everyone. This episode marks the end of Season 2 of Rusty Quill Gaming. Thanks so much for listening, sharing, and supporting us. We'll be returning with Season 3 in three weeks, but don't worry, in the break we'll be releasing some non-story episodes on our normal weekly schedule, so you won't be missing out. That's all for now, but strap in because Season 3... Whew, it's a doozy. Rusty Quill Gaming is a podcast distributed by RustyQuill.com and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial International License. Today's episode was recorded and produced by Alexander J. Newell. To comment on episodes, make donations, and view links, images, videos, and show notes, visit RustyQuill.com. Rate and review us on iTunes. Visit us on Facebook. Tweet us on Twitter at the Rusty Quill. Or email us at mail at rustyquill.com. Thanks for listening. Edit. You're gonna have to bear with me. I will intro you when I intro you. Okay. I wasn't sure no, if no, I was no. meant to just I will I, I will intro you, don't fret. Ooh, okay. Okay. He'll leave it slightly too long. And just wait until we die and then be like, Helen, why didn't you rest? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I was worried that was what was going to happen. Yeah, yeah. You find their corpse. I'll, I'll, I'll intro you, don't worry, don't worry. You all have to come up with new characters because of Helen. <laughs> Thanks, all the Helen. Fans will be She's angry. ruined the podcast. There's Helen no ruined the podcast before she even spoke. There's no way for us to change that. That's just what happened. Locked in now. We've That's recorded canon. it. Hashtag yep. Quillgate. <laughs> <laughs>